Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Kevin Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. If you are bored with boiled Brussels sprouts, try this stir fry Brussels sprouts recipe, which is gonna give you a different flavor, ways of presenting it, and a way to enjoying it. Although Brussels sprouts seems hard to cook through, but if I'm going to pre-boil it before stir frying it. I only need about two to three minutes of stir frying before it becomes crisp and tender, and it is also a good way to stir fry the Brussels sprout over high heat for the last one minute in order to bring out the wok aroma. In these videos, I'm going to show you how to prepare Brussels sprout Cantonese style. The method to prepare the Brussels sprout stir fry is pretty straightforward. Trim the Brussels sprout and remove the outer layer if necessary, and then. How do you have? Bring a pot of water to a boil. Blanch the Brussels sprouts in boiling water for about two minutes. After two minutes, remove it, drain, and set aside. Add some oil to the wok. Add the chopped garlic and sauté over a low heat until aromatic. Then add the Brussels sprout. Mix well with the garlic and stir fry over low to medium heat. Meanwhile, season with light soy sauce. Oyster sauce. You can get the actual quantity of the ingredient that I use in the recipe, which I have included in the description below the video. A teaspoon of sugar. Salt to season. Ground white pepper. If you like it to be spicy, you can add some chili flakes, which I'm gonna leave it out today. Stir fry the Brussels sprout for about one to two minutes until it becomes crisp tender. It does not take long because I have already blanched the Brussels sprouts before stir frying. Okay. You can use a small portion as a side dish, or a larger portion to serve with steamed rice as the main dish. That's how to prepare Brussels sprout stir fry. As you know, Brussels sprout is not a traditional Chinese cooking ingredient, but I'm using the traditional Chinese cooking method, that is the Cantonese style stir fry, to prepare this dish, and. If you like this recipe, I've included the recipe in the description below the video. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.